as promised, here is the air temp straight cool central air conditioner. It replaced a 1986 Bryant central air conditioner. The Williamson oil furnace that is like 25 to 30 years old is still there. This is a straight cool unit, not a heat pump, and this is a three and a half ton. And it's R22. So it's one of those uh, dry charged R22 components. And I assume you replaced the air handler as well. Or not the air handler, it has an oil furnace, so just the, uh, the indoor coil. There seems to be a bit of buffeting from the fan blades, but other than that, it is a, it is a very quiet unit. It's got the Copeland Scroll compressor. It looks a lot like a Goodman. When I drove by the uh, building, uh, the main road's right over there. So uh, you can see the air conditioner from the street. I thought it was a Goodman. You could see why it would look like a Goodman with that color scheme. It's like that dark gray color and it has the uh, red emblem on it. You can see why I might have mistaken it for a uh, Goodman, but it's an air temp and uh, I do not know if this is the same air temp, but uh, air temp back in like the 30s or 40s was started up by the Chrysler Corporation, and uh, they used the uh, they used the systems in their cars. And in addition to that, they also made like residential and commercial air conditioning systems. And I read on the internet that the uh, earliest systems in the in their automobiles might have actually used R22 instead of R12. And then all leader systems from the 50s onward used R12. But imagine that, a car with an R22 air conditioning system. But yeah, they made good uh, window units. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I've been doing a lot of filming and taking pictures today, so my battery died, but... As you know, I have two other, I have three batteries, so I have two good ones, in addition to the debt one that just died. As I was saying, this is basically just a rebadged Nordine. But it was installed by the owner of, a, of an air conditioning and oil heat installation company, so the guy knows what he's doing. So... It's nowhere, I mean, nothing's, almost, there aren't going to be many units out there that are as durable as a, uh, as a mid-1980s Brian, except for maybe a train of the same era, or anything made prior to the, prior to 1980, but there aren't going to be many com comparable units to an 1986 Bryant that are going to, that are going to be as durable as that unit, but, uh, since it's owned and maintained by a by an experienced technician, this should last a while. It's a nice clean install. The uh, line set snakes around the side of the building, but uh, whatever, that doesn't affect performance. The disconnect is all the way on the other side of the building too. But yeah, this is an air temp Nordine three and a half ton straight cool central air conditioner matched up with a uh, presumably a um, air temp 
indoor coil. Don't feel like going in there and checking it out because they're kind of busy. The guy was very nice to let me film the air conditioner today, but this is a place of business. They're very busy. Don't feel like going in there and uh, bothering them. I know for a fact that it has a Williamson oil forced air furnace. But yeah, I know a, uh, a lot of my regular viewers wanted to see what this particular unit looked like in person. This is the first time I've seen one, and from what I've read, it's a fairly new uh, brand. And it's distributed by, I forget what the name of the company is. But it's, some company has exclusive distribution rights. But yeah, it sounds a lot like my carriers, to tell you the truth. And uh, there is one, there is one good thing. Uh, I'm, one good thing about this particular unit over units that have the micro channel foils. With this, at least you can pump the unit down and move all the freon into the outdoor unit if you need to service it. That way, you don't have to suck all the refrigerant out, put it in a container, and then either replace the freon or put. Or put new, or put the uh, same old Freon back into the unit. So it saves a lot of money for the customer and a lot of time and aggravation for the tech. So it is easier to service than say a uh, York LX series or a York uh, Latitude series. And also, this has a Copeland scroll compressor. The last LX series I saw. One of the LX series I saw had a Bristol reciprocating compressor in it, so, uh... This actually has a better compressor in it, in my opinion. It's got the Copeland Scroll. Copeland Scrolls are so much better than reciprocating, in my opinion, or any kind of scroll. But yeah, this is an air temp. Three and a half ton straight cool central air conditioner at a commercial property. Very good install, and I have been inside the building on a hot day, it works great. And the owner of the business is also going to let me take pictures of his fleet of trucks for the Like a Rock and Ford Truck Tribute videos. So, uh, yeah, thought this would be a good addition to my collection. I just love the zoom on this thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.